Good, good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Hey, says Neil. God bless, God bless. God bless you and your family, your household, and to all who share with us tonight, we greet you in the everlasting and adorable name of Jesus, our Christ, and our Lord, as we are gathering on Periscope and uh, YouTube will have us in just a moment. And uh, we'll be tweeting it out and um, uh, uh, celebrating with um, uh, a family legacy um, directive that is part of our um, Twitter uh, arrangement. So we'll get this word out tonight. It, I, I wasn't here last week because I was... Uh, as many of you were as well, uh, devastated by the um, uh, by the the riot, the uh, unsettling um, overture of many who follow um, uh, President Trump and uh, seek seek to seeking to overthrow. Uh, create sedition um, based on um, him not feeling as though uh, he had gotten his proper uh, request fulfilled by having some votes um, taken or found, found 11,000, a specific number of votes he needed in order uh, to just outdistance um, President-elect Biden, uh, that kind of um, um, wanting to remain as president, even though um, a search for impropriety or cheating of some sort could not be found. So I wasn't here last week because of uh, that seditious act that um, that 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 prevail and now one week later one week later just um in the infancy beyond uh the certification uh, the house of representatives are now ha having for the second time in the um uh, tenure of uh, mr trump has found him uh um uh creditable enough in such an act of last week to have been impeached. Uh, now, I wanted just to update you on that. I'm not going there tonight. But but uh, as a man of God and also as a citizen of the United States of America and as a, an African American uh, uh, within this country, in addition, uh, be, be, being a child of desegregation, um, one one utilized by my own uh, school system to um, uh, desegregate um, high school. Uh, that that for me became uh, one of the political moves. I I I, I had to. I was chosen as as one of those uh, black students, or in, in that instance, Negro students, who would um, um, desegregate majority white uh, schools. Um, so uh, I am a graduate of a of a desegregated school. Um, one Woodrow Wilson. Uh, in Portsmouth, Virginia, and the other Craddock High School in uh, Portsmouth, Virginia as well. 
I didn't get an opportunity to go to I.C. Norcom, the predominantly black high school. Um, and um, been in the throes of de desegregation for years. Um, uh, I, I, I remember my um, my uh, my 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 grandmother used to work for um, a majority owner of a, a auto parts company, uh, Morris Parker. She worked for Mr. Parker, and um, my mom, my grandmama would have to uh, board a bus um, in front of our house. Thank God. But it would take her downtown in downtown Portsmouth, and um, she would have to cross the street once she got downtown, uh, cross High Street, uh, and at that corner of Effingham, she would have to catch another bus that carried her into the uh, uh, part of the Portsmouth community that was predominantly white, and she would she she worked for. Um, Mr. Parker, Mrs. Parker was um, uh, a stay-at-home, but she was always um, advancing um, her husband's business as well as uh, her relationships with other of the uh, uh, others of those who who who, who sojourned with her. Uh, it will be part of my responsibility to. Um, on Saturdays, and I followed a great tradition of my older brother, and, and he followed my cousin, who we used to keep Mr. Parker's lawn properly, and uh, cut the grass, and make sure the flower beds look good, and and all of that. That, that, that was our role. I, I'm I'm one of those uh, children of of desegregation, so. Um, and also, uh, while I was at Norfolk State, uh, undergraduate degree, um, my, my area of concentration was, uh, political science. So, uh, I, I, I wanted to be a lawyer. That's, that's what I was, was, was going to go to, go to, I, I was going to go to law school, but, but the Lord redirected that and, uh, uh, um, I did not get a chance to go to law school, but the practice of law for me as an African American was, was in a sense, thrust upon me and others of my generation uh, because of the early trials, the early trials of assimilating into a a, a community and culture that um, uh, had us as second-class citizens then, um, uh, even though we played football with sons and daughters of those who ran the city, and uh, we worked with and worked for uh, persons who uh, prevailed in um, remaining astute. So, I come with a coloring of um, uh, ha having to endure um, um, utilizing my gifts, my talents, um, to build up schools that, that, that did not just open its doors to me. I was, in a sense, uh, forced to go. They, they, they imposed that, 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 that reference, forced desegregation, uh, opening the doors. And um, it wasn't always good going uh, to classes uh, because sometimes you'd be held up uh, in bathrooms. It, it, one of the things you had to learn, don't go to the bathroom uh, before... Um, uh, well, well, go to the bathroom, not by yourself. Go, 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 with, go, go. A group of y'all go in the bathroom together, so you'll come out together as well. And uh, 
get on in the class so that there will be no demerits of any kind uh, assigned to your name. Um, so, so we had to learn how to work within a system to take advantage of the disadvantages that uh, would be uh, placed upon us because we were there. I, I couldn't sit in the back of the class. I had to sit in front uh, because um, being chosen and selected, um, I couldn't go there ignorant. Uh, <laughs> so, so I had to, um, in a sense, uh, utilize the, um, the intelligence that God had given and do study, do homework, work to just a little bit harder um, to uh, excel, uh, work just as hard to excel there, and then even more. Uh, because um, um, if, and I later learned in my in my adulthood how students were selected for desegregation. Um, um, folk, folk milled and modeled. Uh, they they looked at uh, test scores and all of that, and, and um, um, yes, 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 yes. So some of our some of our uh, astute um, uh, members of higher education, as well as uh, uh, persons who knew how to size up uh, uh, those who would be best suited for these settings, uh, they, 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 help, they help create the pioneers for such uh, a test to uh, be passed. And um, so, so when I saw all of this last week, last Wednesday, and um, um, I listened to persons uh, dialoguing and talking about what 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 was happening to to to, to me to, to me it was um, it, it 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 was not it was not a Negro problem. Uh, <laughs> what happened last week in Washington, D.C. that's predominantly white, no, predominantly black uh, with um, the agencies of government inside of it. Uh, what wasn't a Negro problem? Um, um, and today's vote um, uh, uh, and, 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 and the reason why cheating, <laughs> I put it that way, the reason why cheating uh, was high on the agenda last week was uh, as, as a result of votes that came from predominantly African-American communities. Uh, <laughs> so that whole quail, so, so, so for me, it, 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 it was a rising of uh, who God utilized um, to help found the earth, um, who, who worked within the environment of uh, Eden, <laughs> uh, who, who, who utilized the gifts and talents that he had endowed them with uh, to make ways when they did not see a way. Um, and um, f 50 years after um, uh, uh, this, this study and quest for desegregation, uh, f 50, 50 years after uh, we were declared and set free as a uh, as, uh, uh, as, as, as Part of the first citizens of this of this uh, uh huh hello are you there okay F -f fifty years after um, the em the emancipation proclamation that's when we that's when we as African Americans uh, got got started hello yes I'm you on uh-huh. 
Are you okay with those? Yeah, uh huh. Pastor John, are you in Periscope? Yeah, yes, uh-huh. All right, thank you very much. Okay, okay. I was, I, I, was, I can't find you, but I'll look again. <laughs> all right, all right. But God bless you. I haven't, I haven't taken a text yet. I'm just giving a little history, but uh, come, come on, don't miss this history. Come on. <laughs> I'm on the way. All right. All right. Okay. Um, fifty years after this desegregation. Uh, at the Emancipation Proclamation, that's when uh, our first schools, our first colleges, our first universities, the black church, black businesses, um, uh, that's when we started coming into our own and persons uh, of African American, uh, African Americans started uh, creating their own communities. And persons couldn't handle that. It, it just blew, it just blew folk minds. And ever since, you know, God has endowed us with, with a perspective uh, that uh, while others may qualify us as um, a second class citizens, we've always had a first class spirit. And a and a first class relationship with with God. So uh, being told that we were second class, uh, in a sense, did not demoralize us, uh, but it it, it it sort of strengthened us to handle the task of living. That. Um, we knew we had to um, move into if we were going to be sustained. And we are faced with this kind of um, uh, departure from, uh, from, 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 from a mindset of persons, even in this pandemic, that um, uh, you don't matter until we say you matter. Um, no, no it, it has taken us just as much to live within our own communities as, as it has taken us to blend into uh, the larger communities. We have been the stuff or We've been given the stuff that, um, that that God could not entrust to everybody. <laughs> uh, he he had to be able to trust the people uh, with what it meant to have what He endowed us with to be suppressed, in order that we could find the real genesis to. To 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 um, to new beginnings that we had to search for, live for, we died for it, and we passed it on generationally, so that uh, uh, if 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 one generation did not um, uh, cultivate as much as should have been cultivated, or or or, or we were denied. Another generation uh, got the message when Dad or Mom came home, and 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 that and that family chat um, uh, had to um, had to be generated within us, so that generations uh, um, down the line could 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 help us could help us uh, pass that. That gem of God uh, on to us, and we could keep it alive. And tonight's word for me, I I, I didn't choose this word. This word chose me. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I wrote I wrote this um, uh, spiritual kinship, maintaining 
your dynamism in his service uh, way back in 1996. 1996. And I, um, I, I was challenged to create my own devotional because uh, the devotionals I was reading uh, di didn't speak to me. I mean, I mean, uh, I could take a text and, and, and explicate it out of my own to feed my own spirit. But, 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 but when I try to attach myself to somebody else's perspectives about uh, what my devotion to God should, should be like as I lived day by day, it just, it just didn't speak to me. It just didn't speak to me. So, so, so I, had to, I had to create my own devotional so I can get through some days. Uh, <laughs> with my own my, my own eye on God without trying to look through somebody else's eyes at him. Uh, so uh, my, my prayers uh, and my study um, came from my reading of the word and, and, and how I talked to him and how he talked back to me, how he opened doors that I couldn't I couldn't open myself and made ways that I could not make for myself. So my identity was 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 tied to and channeled through um, the way I saw him and my revelation of him. So so tonight's word uh, here, here out of my out of my uh, 30, 30, 31, 30, 30, uh, 30, what is this? <laughs> 30 days here. But I've, 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 I've since revised it to 31 days of biblical empowerment. Day, day 11, day, 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 day 12. Isn't this the 12th day? I'm, 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 no, this is the 13th day. This 13th day? Oh, I'm sorry, Lord. I got locked in on day 12. I got locked in on day 12. Now, now actually, day, day 13, where did I get 12 from? I don't know. Maybe that's where he wanted me to lock in. But anyway, well, it'll come together. Day 12 was from Jeremiah 23, 29. Um, Is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer which shatters a rock. So, 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 so I've been walking... <laughs> I, I I've been walking with, with with Jesus being my fire. Uh, uh, in the balance of this evening, uh, meditating toward tonight, because it's what the Lord said. My my word is like fire, and that whole discourse that um, uh, God goes through in um, uh, the, uh, looking at the. Uh, Looking at those prophets that he called, and those prophets who called themselves, and the way they approached the circumstances of life, that um, if they did not have God's power at work, they could not properly decipher how they could get through some of the difficult times that uh, they had to go through. So with his word being like fire and with Jesus being his word and in some of the most difficult times that Jesus was confronted with in being opposed i mean as 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 a teacher being opposed by those who would not accept what he was saying and, and that whole discriminatory uh uh, reflection b based on his religiosity and compared to others religiosity but he just wasn't he, he just wasn't performing or carrying out their, their their interpretation of the word as he was doing it so 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 they did not uh, look at him favorably and God had to had to back his son's fire up or the kind of disposition 
that he was able to work through in order to manifest uh, the purification that that of life that he was providing through his his lifeline and and God and God backs him up with this kind of a, he's not a pseudo a, a pseudo prophet or or a pseudo priest or or a pseudo religious man he didn't he didn't get this through um, uh, 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 buying, bu buying prosperity or buying a degree or buying in uh, no, he he had to earn this through through the property uh, of providence that 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 took that took fire in order for him that there was as he had mentioned in an, in another setting here in Jeremiah it's just like fire shut up in my bones there there there, there was a there, there was a driving force a purification force. Uh, a force that released the very permanent effect that God would have uh, made known um, in the instance of um, uh, Jeremiah and, of course, uh, God himself. So is not my word like fire, purification, declared the Lord, and like a hammer, like a hammer. It, it shatters. I mean, you, you better be able to stand or you would be, you, you, you would be turned into dust because of the effect of this fire or this hammer that uh, Jesus personified himself. I mean, anybody who goes into the wilderness or the devil's territory for 40 days and 40 nights and still comes out a winner. Uh, had to have more than just what they would learn in, in rabbinical school or, <laughs> or, 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 or from a Sunday school class. Uh, he, he had to have more than, 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 than that. Um, um, so the shattering of a rock. Uh, what other folk think is their it, 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 it is their cornerstone. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what you're living on was built by me. What you're living through was built by me. And 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 here comes Jesus, uh, nullifying, shattering the very foundation of uh, um, uh, the. Uh, uh, Orthodoxy of uh, Jewish, 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 Jewish faith, and, and and starts personifying, personifying the very personage of the Father, because he was of he was of the generation of the Father uh, in the earth, uh, uh, incarnated. Uh, he, he, he was the incarnation uh, uh, of God himself so uh, uh, he, he 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 carried that persona in that and that profound and um, uh, he, he he didn't have to check with anybody to see if what he was about to do uh, authorized to be done uh, he, he and his dad had very close, Relationship, so that authenticity of of of, of him being God uh, w w was there as fire and as a as a hammer, destroying rocks or or barriers that uh, would prevent you from from going where you're not supposed to go, saying what you are not supposed to say, and doing what you are not supposed to be doing. Your suppose was in your in your fire, in in your purification. You had already been cleared by God to do it. And 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 I and and, and I believe uh, any sp sp spokesman, spokesperson, uh, whatever the gender, if you've been called, uh, a purification accompanies your call. Because 
you got your burning before you got your learning. And your learning is now uh, so positioned with power that the uh, evolution, evolution and, and the whole uh, suspended area that 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 folk who 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 ain't got what you got they cause they ain't got it deep as as, as fire burns. Um, I, I mean, check check this, check this, check this, check this. Yeah. This was one of my um uh, uh um 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 meditative uh areas when when God um uh, led the children of Israel. From bondage in Egypt, uh, he gave them uh, two, 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 two levels of travel. They could travel by day and travel by night, and 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 God was was guiding them. And check what He had given them in order to travel by day a pillar of cloud or his very presence with them during the day. A pillar, a pillar, a pillar. Uh, we call it theophany uh, or, the, or, or the likeness of God personified. Uh, so he gave them a pillar of, 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 of pillar of the pillar of cloud by day. Then, then check this. <laughs> this goes back to that Jeremiah piece. Then at night, they had a pillar of fire. Now, 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 I have a, I have an everversent, an everversent light in front of me right now. Uh, but it's plugged in. <laughs> it's plugged in down in the. <laughs> but it's plugged in to give forth that light. I have a webcam recording me right now, uh, uh, and 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 here Periscope has me talking directly to people as they're looking at me. So so that that scope is where I'm going to that that scope webcam is scoped. It's 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 it's, it's light that 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 is directed through a lens through a scope through through through. It, it, we call it, in a sense, a telescope. Well, well, uh, well, well, well. Digitally, a webcam carries that same kind of motif. But, but, but during uh, the time that God was leading the children of Israel to freedom, and they were able to travel at night, He had a pillar of fire. Is not my word like fire? Was it Jesus? And I, I, I I'm going, I'm cutting straight to the chase on, on that one. What, what, what was, was, was a, uh, was the fire uh, that led the children of Israel from bondage, from dark bondage, from, 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 from dare discrimination, from, from the worst. That, that, that life could drive a man or a woman or family, a child, and, 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 and wouldn't let up because authority was demanding that, that this, this man or this woman succumb to what you say since you're in charge. But, but God said, no, let me free you from that and give you your own fire. Give you your own light. Let me be the supplier of your light. And let that light work for me. Let, let that light be guided and directed by me. So, so, so that, in a sense, while the children of Israel are being led, it's my eyes that, that are, that, that, that are in the high, the high places where they must travel and in the low. It, 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 
I'm their light. I'm their provider. I'm their keeper. I'm the one that holds them together. And, 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 and since we are going through a pandemic, don't take your eyes off the one who is guiding us through it. We've been singing about it, and now we want to act like um, what I need, I, I need it, and the government got to get all night, all day. God got some angels <laughs> working on our behalf. They're in our front door and our back door. And whether we go out night or day with a mask on, when we forget the mask, wh wh whether we respect social distancing and stay away from others, every day, even if we forget, sometimes the Spirit of God will remind us, wait a minute. And how many times have you been walking toward going into an entrance somewhere and you forgot your mask? But a quickening came. Because it's a standard of life to maintain your liberty, your, your, your personality, your, your place with God. So uh, is not my word like fire, declares the Lord and like a hammer which shatters a rock, but 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 that was day twelve. Y'all, excuse me. That was <laughs> that was day twelve. I I got so engulfed in the twelfth, which twelve in biblical numerology represents the government of God. How 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 God governs. How God governs. How how God governs. How how God governs. How how God governs. Uh, but but today is day thirteen, man. Uh, <laughs> can I give a byproduct of that? Um, and the byproduct of God's fire is how He governs. So He's not only fire, but but He's also our governor. <laughs> and 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 when I and when when I, when I turn over and I see in Matthew uh, chapter two. Uh, verses five and six. It, it, this this is what my um my, my devotion um uh, uh primed the pump of 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 my my piety so I could properly follow him in a day a day thirteen. Uh, for thus it is written by the prophet. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. A governor. <laughs> a, go a governor shall. And you know, every one of our states. I mean, our Commonwealth of Virginia is governed by a governor, and 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 the governor has a place uh, where they govern from. Uh, our state capital is is in Richmond. Since, since I'm in Virginia, our state capital is in is in Virginia, and, and every every one of the states of the United States of America. Ha, 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 has a place where the governor governs from, or the seat of power. Lord have mercy here. I feel the Holy Ghost moving. And, and at the same time, tonight, in the state capitol, Lord help me here, in the state capitol tonight, in the bastions of power, that govern the United States of America, right there where 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 great discussions were going on today, relative to one party saying impeach, another party was calling for unity because <laughs> they didn't want to go against, uh, in a sense, what uh, with their head of their party. 
had, had done and now they're calling uh, as despicable as last week was and, and the pep talk he gave to those who were listening to him before he lied to them <laughs> and said, y'all going on to the Capitol, I'm going with you, but he never showed up. He went back to the White House and watched, watched them on TV as the as the uh, forecast and the and those who were with him and those who could tell the story. So, um, uh, and they went down and all that that evolved been termed as acts of sedition, of separation, just because he wanted to remain where Joe Biden is now. And he wanted to, he wanted those in Georgia to give him enough, give him enough, give give, give him enough recount figures, uh, so so that uh, uh, he he could be declared the winner of the presidency one more time. But 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 if God is the governor of everything, he had a chance. Uh, Lord, help me here. He had a chance, but the governor of governors, Lord, help me here. He is the one who has authority to direct the lives and circumstances of all God's people. He lives in the state capital of my soul. I follow his decrees and his ordinances. His word is my standard for living and his discipline is my pardon. Lord have mercy here. But if I'm undisciplined, instead of him pardoning me, I may get impeached. Y'all don't help y'all don't hear me here. I'm trying to get through this because I didn't want to be up here long. For thus it is written by the prophet. Lord have mercy here. And thou Bethlehem, 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 the house of bread, in the land of Judah, in the land of praise, not, you are not least among the princes of Judah, talking about Bethlehem, this house of bread, where the son of God, this incarnate son of God was born, for out of thee shall come a governor like you've never seen before. And, and it, that shall rule my people. That shall rule my people. Anybody under God's rule tonight? Anybody? <laughs> under God's guidance tonight? And don't, don't, don't sing it. If you ain't letting him do it, you know, you know, I will trust. Don't sing it if you ain't going to let him govern. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust. I mean, are you really trusting him during this pandemic? I know some of you were crying because you didn't get that $600 and you thought you were going to get 12 huh? They may be coming later, but suppose you don't get the 12. Who still sins a day? Suppose, suppose, suppose your six ain't come yet. Who still make days and wakes you up so, so that you can be a part of the day? Why not just let him govern your life, even though the $600 ain't come yet. Is it going to be enough or do you need more? Well, will, will, will 2,000 do it? I will trust. Well, who you going to trust? Who going to govern the governor? <laughs> who who going to steward the steward? Who's going to help you to understand how to handle, how to handle what's on his way to you? He's getting ready to send you another day. What kind of steward are you going to be? If you, if you need $600, live so. Talk to him for it. Put a seed in the ground 
so that everything you need will find place and empowerment in this in this governor y'all in, in, in this governor that, that gives it to us in fiery portions <laughs> <laughs> Give it to us so we can see where we're going with it and see what we're doing with it and see, see what can come of it. Trust him. And let's see him bring us out more, more, more than a conqueror. More because he'll be your fire so you can govern like you ought to govern. He'll, he'll be your fire. So you can handle from the commonwealth of eternity <laughs> the inconsistencies of man and money and, and be in us what we need in order to properly handle the fiery times we're passing through with the governing system that he is master of. Trust will allow such to be handled according to God and for him to get all praise, all honor, and all glory. I'm, I'm going to let you go now. <laughs> so we've seen him. We've got, got two little pictures of him tonight. We got, we got the picture of him as fire for our lives. And we got picture of him as governor of our lives. Day 14, he's our goal, G-O-A-L. That, that's where we're going tomorrow. He's our goal, G-O-A-L. 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 I've been privileged of God. I thank him for uh, me not recognizing the date properly, but uh, I was able to to sojourn in in a, in a in a twelfth dimension and a thirteenth dimension of God, as these days have presented them and prior study and walk with them evolved these 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 enrichments. Um, these these cultivating areas for our soul and of our spirit as we as we walk with him depend on him trust him him holding our hands and guiding guiding our footsteps into places we've never been before to do things we never thought we would do and to see advancement of him as we thought we thought couldn't evolve, but he didn't let us lose our dream. He's created a dream. <laughs> He's purified a dream. <laughs> That's that fire working. And he and he governs the dream <laughs> as our governor. And and the and the house of bread is ever living because. It's, it's out of that house of bread that Jesus as fire came and Jesus as our governor is still sitting in the in the governing place for us the Commonwealth of Virginia Richmond we, we've been enriched men and enriched women because of the power of his governorship in our lives and we pray now, Upon your household, um, uh, your your front door and your back door, all your windows where the sunlight comes in, and I pray now over 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 uh, furnaces and your heating system that that um, you won't have no problems, and I pray that uh, every bill. And, and folk who, who seemingly they don't have that uh, spirit of human kindness, that milk of human kindness flowing, they they still expect you to pay, even if you ain't got no money coming in. 
and, and they'll cut your stuff off. And some, some, some are living now in some dark times. I was outside with my brother yesterday and saw the man coming by checking meters. He had this little, this little long, long screwdriver or something. He just dig down in the ground, pull up, pull up. I, I think it was your sewage. The sewage, he was checking this, this sewage, uh, check part of your water, part of your water system. You're going to get a bill soon. I know I'm going to get another one soon. How can you make it if it were not for God on your side? So keep trusting and never doubt he will surely, can I get a witness here? He will surely bring you out. He can still make a way when we don't see it. But you got to keep a good a good communion time with him, a good a good prayer time. You got to you got to talk to him and then you can't be so fast not to hear him when he talks back to you. It's a two way street, y'all. Worship and being governed. <laughs> Hold on to him. Because he does have something to say and he's gonna say it. But let us have ears to open up to him so that we can receive it and a heart that's not so overwhelmed that we cannot appreciate what he's telling us to do. So use those, use those knees while you're down there scrubbing the flow. Huh. Go, on, go, go on whisper a prayer. And I tell you, when you when you whisper a prayer to him, he, he'll talk back to you. Don't miss what God is saying to you because he knows what's further up the road than you know. So have a relationship with him that can help you when it looks like you need help and you can't get help from where you think help ought to come from. All your help comes from the Lord. And if he sends a day, he knows what's coming in that day that we may not even be aware of. So hang out with the day giver. And he'll give you everything you need to handle the day when other folk trying to take from you. to Keep their businesses going. Keep their banks open. <laughs> keep their furnaces going. Hold on. God, God ain't finished yet. Get the 600 and more. Always the more. The more or the more. <laughs> it's what comes from the one who bought the day. I know some, some are coming to some points with some deadlines. All these folk with these, these, these COVID sympathizers. Yeah, when, when, when COVID... COVID first started hitting and folks started losing jobs and losing lives. Everybody had a COVID spirit. Yeah, we'll get, we'll, we'll, we'll let you go. But then when their bottom line, <laughs> their bottom line came and they cut your stuff off. But God supplies something. God supplies when the last time you seen God cut a day off? Once he what, and then woke us up in it. Then he gonna cut it off. What kind of God is that? A man, man, man forget, man, but God never forgets. So let's keep hanging with him, y'all. Let, let's keep let let's let's let, let's hang out with him, cause we don't know all that's gonna happen in a day. He does. So let's hang with him and let's get the better, the better from the one who makes things better for us. Father, I pray for every household under the sound of my voice tonight and pray your keeping power, your providing power, your, 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 when we're about to lose our wits in, Lord. You know how to how to take those wits 
<laughs> and extend the ends of them into another level of blessing. We know you ain't finished with us. You keep waking us up in the morning. You keep us all day long. And whatever we have to come up against, you never leave us. So teach us how to pray and what to pray for so that it'll last longer than our dollar lasts. Last longer than what's in the refrigerator. Last longer than what's in the freezer. Last longer than the gas that can be cut off. But help us keep some wood somewhere. <laughs> and a match. And match what the day brings and what circumstances take away with what you can provide. Help us always keep a dream alive in our spirit from you. We'll be so careful to give thy name praise, honor, and glory. Good God from Zion. For I ask it all in the precious and adorable name of Jesus, our Christ, our Lord, our way maker, our enabler, one we can depend on all the time. I, I don't want to go Audrey Gray. I don't want to go Audrey Gray on y'all, but I, but I got to, I got to ask I got to ask the question tonight. I got to ask, won't, won't he do it? <laughs> won't he do it? Won't he make a way? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? So now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Father be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. As you go to bed tonight, talk to him. As you get in that, that place where you fall off to sleep, Trust him. Then on our, on our tomorrows, when they wake us up, say, thank you, Lord, and be with me all day long. Until next time we gather, y'all, may the love of God be yours. Love each one of you. Thank you for sharing with us tonight. God bless. Give your loved ones with God on the could speak to you from heaven. Mm. Bishop Paul S. Martin, y'all. My prayers have all been answered. Lord have mercy. I finally arrived. I got healing that has been delayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's now been real life. My God, my God, my God. Yeah, yes. No one's in a hurry. <laughs> no more's had to Every time I heard that song, I think about my mama. I'm enjoying Jesus. Yeah. My mother in law. Just sitting at his father in law. You could see me now. My dad, my granddad, and my grandmamas. I'm walking. <laughs> Streets of gold. If you, you can see me now. <laughs> yeah. I'm standing. Hell yeah. If you, if you. <laughs> God bless y'all. Remember, I gotta let him. I gotta let him get to this. This next part, and I'll let y'all go. I'll let you go. Only see me now. Go on, drop it, Doc. Go, go on, Bishop. Sing it, Bishop. Sing it. <laughs> ah. Though I've had my sorrows, Woo! they never can come. <laughs> what will he do? Jesus has in store for me. Yeah. No if you could only, if you could only 
see me now. If you could see me now. Streaks of gold. If you, if you. Yeah. If you, if you could only, if you could only, oh, oh God, only, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. God bless y'all. <laughs> it gets better. Trust him now. Trust him. If you could only. <laughs> I like that part, Bishop. <laughs> Bishop Paul S. Martin. You could only see me now. I hope, I hope uh, YouTube don't cut it off because of the copyright. <laughs> oh God, God bless y'all. <laughs>